Hello, darlings! Today we're driving the Golden Circle, which takes us to a lovely waterfall, geothermal pools, and we try bread that was baked in the ground, then eat skir and more skir. Mmm, food. We also walk around a volcanic crater with a lake inside it, hang out with new friends, challenge myself to fermented shark, get our brains super stimulated at an art museum, sleep in a dangerously pointy cottage, and more. Me! Thanks to Skylar for sponsoring this video. Skylar creates non toxic, vegan, and cruelty free perfumes that do not contain parabens nor phthalate. If you don't know what scent to choose, you could take their quiz online for recommendations. For $20 a month, you could be part of the Scent Club, where members receive a limited edition scent in a rollerball size. For July, it was Salt Air. For August, it's Love in Paradise. And as for September, stay tuned for the announcement. The link to their site is in the description box. And now, back to Iceland. Let's prepare for the road trip. With only 15 minutes to pick up snacks, it's a race against the parking meter. Oh, bread samples. By the way, I'm gonna be mispronouncing a lot of words. I'm doing my best. And I'll even say multiple versions of the words, hoping that one of them's right. So many choices for skir. Skir? Life's golden syrup. Nice packaging. What is this? They really coated that up. Picked up a veggie drink, coconut protein bar, skir, and roasted cashews. We begin the famous golden circle from Reykjavik to Golfoss and down to Selfoss and back to Reykjavik. The first stop is Thingvalir National Park where Game of Thrones was filmed. I heard the weather here changes all of a sudden, so next thing you know it might be sunny again. It's cute and funny how a lot of sheep hang out next to the road and they're not even fenced in. Wow, look at that you in the sky. Oh, it's windy! I'm just gonna enjoy this view inside the car. Sometimes the car moves. Six more minutes to go to Thingvalir National Park and we're gonna have skir. Smells like thick. So skir is like yogurt, but it's a cheese. It's a cheese? Once you pick it up, wow, it keeps to itself. I mean, it slowly does eventually drip. It takes a while to do it. Wow, it's really thick. That's velvety. Boom! Made it to Thingvalir. There are multiple paths. We shall go to the waterfall. I know, there's a lot of tourists here, but they do get scattered along the various trails. We got super lucky with the weather because it's not raining anymore. The name Thingvalir translates to the Fields of Parliament. Long story short, representatives all over Iceland used to hold open-air assemblies at Thingvalir, building temporary shelters. In this beautiful place, there is dark history. Thingvalir was once an execution site. While men were beheaded, hung, or burned, women were drowned in this deep pool called Drekingarhjöller. 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 Okay, I tried. Moving on. This is a landscape sandwich. And we're the ham. And oh, they walk through this in the middle. I like how they made the wood deck around this rock. Wow, beautiful. Here's our Aksarar Foss looks like in the winter. Or is it Asarar Foss? Asarar Foss. Oh, these Icelandic pronunciations are beating me up. I was expecting the hike to be a bit more strenuous, but the stroll is actually quite relaxing. We head to the barn loft, 40 minutes away. Oh, I think this dog is having good dreams. Look at that gentle smile. You get a whiff of this, it smells like the farm. It turns out this is a farm stay, and there's a restaurant, there's a cafe. The restaurant has windows overlooking cows having lunch. For extra seasoning, they lick each other's ears. Must be the natural salt. Other windows frame views of horses surrounded by flowers and greenery. Ah, the rolling cloud above, so beautiful. I want to live here. To order food is cafeteria style. Stand in line and pay first before getting your food. Guys, we're in Iceland. That means we gotta stuff ourselves with more skir. <gasps> Are those almonds? Yes, a fresh layer of almond slices. Earlier we had the skeeter that was packaged from the market. Let's try the fresh one. 
They made this here. Oh, so thick. <laughs> it makes me drool. To thin out the skid, mix it with the cream. Introducing the skid burger, which contains melted feta, skid sauce, red onion, lettuce, and salad. The local salad with beef and feta. This might be far from traditional, but I put some skid on bread. Is this a food crime in Iceland? I enjoyed it, so no regrets. During the dining experience, I was going goo goo and gaga over the decor. The little details and traditional pieces really tickled my soul in the best way possible. A little family history. Turns out the couple who lives here happens to share the same great, 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 great grandparents. Below the restaurant, there is a cafe where you are eye level with the munching cows. Oh, the skid really filled me up, but come on, it's homemade ice cream. Even the waffle cones are homemade. This is dangerous, so dangerous, so much temptation. Drool, 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 drool. Let's be disciplined and get a small cup. Very sweet, dense, but it's, it feels a little bit more like gelato than your normal ice cream. They did a book exchange. Meow! See you again next time. It is set in stone. I definitely want to come back here. Next up, we visit Gulfos, which means the golden waterfall. In the 20th century, foreign investors wanted to build a hydroelectric power plant harnessing the power of Gulfos, which would have changed and destroyed the waterfall. Sigridar Thomas Dottir fought for the conservation of Gulfos. She has often been called Iceland's first environmentalist. Thank you, Sigridor, for protecting Mother Nature. It looks like steam rising, and there's something cooking it down there. Uh, you started seeing the puddles over there, it's gonna be wet. We are gonna get as close as we can, and it is quite misty, and the camera's getting wet too. Wow! Awesomeness! Look at these rocks. Near the entrance, there's a gift shop selling cozy blankets, sweaters, hats. These stacked rocks are called cairn. But please do not stack rocks in nature. Cairns have been made as signposts, and when you touch them, one can feel a strong connection to Mother Earth. <laughs> strong connection to Mother Earth. We just finished checking out the golf bus, and look what time it is. 8.37, still pretty light outside. Tonight, we sleep at the Golfas Hotel. The room is decorated in a modern style, and the bed is made of two single mattresses. My favorite part is the window. Without a screen, you get clear views of the landscape. It smells a bit fresh and warmy. Thankfully, their blackout curtains were pretty effective. It must have been raining, because if you look outside, water on the window. Uh, currently it is 8.33. We booked the spa for 10 a.m. Which means we grab breakfast ASAP and hit the road. So we're at the geothermal bath. 32 degrees Celsius. There's one over there. It's uh, 38 to 40 degrees Celsius. A little waterfall. So this place opens at 10 a.m. If you want some more quiet time, I recommend coming earlier. I heard it gets busier towards the noon. What is this for? <laughs> oh, you go inside. So let's let's do that. I feel safe. It's like a blanket. So you know these little water things? It's a very, very mini massage. This pool is 34 degrees Celsius. Let's go in that one. That sounds like it's sipping through a straw. Here's a look inside the water. I love how the big rock is just chillaxing. Makes things feel more natural. The green-blue colors feel mystical. All right, where are the mermaids at? These rocks could be used as a pillow. And I'm wearing sunglasses today because on days I don't sleep enough, the sun is too bright. And this is good for uh, inducing a nice nap. I think it's gonna be really cold. Okay, see you later. <laughs> I don't know how you waited all the way. Woo! Oh, actually in the distance, I thought these were seats. Okay, what happened if we sit inside one? It's like half the feels of the other circular thing we were in. And here's a little spot for the GoPro to hang out. Perfect. 
There's also sauna and steam baths. Time for the geothermal rye bread tour. The heat of the earth bakes the bread. The recipe is also really simple. It's just flour, rye flour, a lot of sugar, some salt, baking powder, and milk. That's it. But even though it's so simple, it's really heavy. Do you want to feel? You can pass it along. Yeah. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfectly oh, wow. baked. Nice. Because of all the sugar, it has a really sweet smell. Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh. So we just plop it in there. Oh. Just cover the pot. Just make sure to cover the pot. Before we put the dough in the pot, we put a lot of butter on the sides, so it should be easy to get it out. Oh. Many people think it looks more of a cake yeah. than bread. It's usually served with something salty on top, like butter or smoked trout even. And you can see all the steam coming out of it. That's also why we cut it in half right away, just to release the heat. Ooh. Just when I could have solid, probably. Shaped like a slice of pizza. I feel like it smells sweeter than it tastes. But I like how moist it is. It doesn't crumble. It doesn't make a mess. The flavor overall is quite light. Very pleasant. This time with the butter. It tastes good as is, but you know, everything with butter tastes even better. So the recipe that we're using here in Fontana is from my great great grandma. Thank you so much for having You're us. You're welcome. Yes. I hope you will enjoy the rest of your stay here in Iceland. The Foxy Waterfall is very wide, and it could get really wet here, so be sure to wear a rain jacket. The plants have constant morning dew. Wow, they look magical. I'm waiting for a fairy to pop out. So the entrance fee was 700 kronos, and uh, you could pay by credit card. At first I was like, uh, we don't have cash, but they do have the credit card reading machine. We head south towards Skalholt, which was one of the most important places in Iceland for eight centuries. It held an ancient bishop's seat, and Iceland's first official school was established here in the year 1056. There are ruins on site dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries, but even older remains lie underneath. The building next to the Skalholt church is Porlaskabua. Porlaskabud? Completed in 2012, there has been a lot of controversy regarding this building. Some people think it disintegrates the image of the holy place of Skalholt and that it should not be built right on top of the ruins. Here's the grass roof in its greenest glory. 20 minutes southwest, we take a stroll around Kerid, a volcanic crater lake that was formed about 6,500 years ago. The red rocks and dirt paired with this blue is visually yummy. Entrance fee is 400 ISK, about $3 US. So many trees. There's a word for a moment like this, nature gasm. For dinner, we go to a restaurant located inside the oldest house in Selfoss, and it truly does feel like a home. Dear Santa, I want this pillow for Christmas. So many things on this menu sound so good. I order a slow cooked salmon with roasted barley, broccoli, sunflower seeds, Icelandic blue cheese, and blueberry noisette. Oh, the salmon just falls apart. Hey, complimentary bread and butter! Conclusion, I will definitely come back to this restaurant. Tonight, we sleep at a goat farm with an Icelandic family. The next day, we go on a farm tour with our host Helena. Thankfully, it was sunny, so the goats were happily out and about. An extensive video on this farm stay is coming up, so stay tuned. It's currently 6.30 p.m. I'm just about to drive to meet the photographers for the photo shoot tonight. We're gonna be shooting from about 8 p.m. to I think 4 a.m. It's gonna be tiring, but I did take a nap. A large section of the highway was closed off, so the route diverted into a field. Two 
2.18 a.m. We're gonna go to the abandoned plane and then go to the beach. Seven twenty. So the photographers and I were going to be taking a nap in Vic camping grounds and then head back up. By the way, we originally were gonna sleep at the Black Beach in the parking lot there, like take a nap there, but it was so windy that even the sand was hitting the window. We drove uh, uh, about ten minutes south for a little bit more calmer area. Hi, this is Max. We're taking a little break. Oh, someone's taking a peep! Breakfast. Oh, how cute! Oh, cow and the pony! What a beautiful mountain. <laughs> Got back home from the photo shoot. We just checked out of the farm stay. And now we're gonna head back to uh, Reykjavik and towards the airport. We're gonna sleep there tonight. We're gonna go to Kola Portid, Reykjavik Flea Market. Oh, this is a good place to go shopping if you didn't pack enough warm clothes. That's an interesting looking cake. Is it a sandwich? Whoa! Cockroach. It's a shark, fermented shark. Oh, they have a sample. How's it gonna be? It smells a little salty. Whoa. Whoa, I've never had anything like that. Whoa, it's so strong. It's lingering. How do you explain that? It makes you feel things. It's not just the flavor. You know how like when you eat something spicy, it does something to you. It's very emotional. This is emotional. <laughs> my taste buds, my throat is so confused. I'm wondering if that's like the typical flavor or if there's like different shades. It kind of reminds me of horseradish. It doesn't taste exactly like horseradish. It's just kind of gives that feeling. For dessert, let's wash it all down with chocolate. Hard to go wrong with chocolate, as long as it's fresh enough. Wow, look at the colors of that. Teal. I'm gonna check out the art museum. What? A Christmas shop open in June? I'm down with that. Celebrating Christmas in December is too mainstream anyways. From Reykjavik, we drive towards Keflavik International Airport. For our final night in Iceland, we sleep in a cottage. Gotta love how the flowers are hugging this wooden pathway. I feel like a bee right now, looking for food, for nectar. The room is simple and modern, containing two single beds, a shared nightstand, a geometric pendant, and a screenless view of the outdoors. The bed is on the firm side, so that's a big plus. Bouncy mattresses wake me up at night. As for the bathroom, the glass on the shower stall is flexible. It opens like a door. I do not know why, but it is new to me, so it is interesting. The dryer and extra toilet paper is tucked inside this furniture. Heated drying racks are awesome. They seem to be a common thing in Iceland. Oh yeah, that dark building over there? It houses the kitchen and dining area. Toaster, microwave, the fridge. You have trays, so each of these are room numbers. And this is ours. You have a sink, some mugs. Would I come back to Iceland again? A big yes. For this trip, we did the golden circle. Next time, I'd like to go in a complete circle around all of Iceland in a camper van. That way, like if you book all your hotels, if the highway shuts down, uh, then things could get stressful. Like you have to cancel the hotels you can't, because you can't make it there. Or maybe you found out that you wanted to spend more time in a village or a specific area, but you have to keep going because you had booked your hotels in advance. 
So next time around, I'd love to camper van it. Flight for India tomorrow leaves at 9.25 a.m. We also gotta return the car before then. We're gonna be waking up around 5 a.m., 5.30 at the latest. And right now it's 9.30, so okay, gotta go to sleep. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to comment with a carrot emoji. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles. We planned to see a geyser, but somehow missed it. Well, at least there's something called stock footage. Strokor erupts once every 6 to 10 minutes. In 1815, its height was estimated to reach 200 feet. One of the good things about coming to Iceland during the summer, like in June, during the midnight sun, is we don't have to be racing against the sunset and be like, we have to see everything while we still can. Though you might get tired when it gets closer to midnight. New day, new scent. Skylar has a scent club and for $20 a month, you get a limited edition and rollerball size. And for July smell, it was salt air. It's very bright. The imagery it paints in my mind is when you wake up in the morning and the light shines through the curtain, a little peep starts creeping up on your eye. Now how does that compare to the willow? This one's also the roller size. I would have to say the salt air that one has more beach feels. The willow one is more towards hiking vibes, more woodsy. So this one is the aisle. Makes you think of ocean waves and flowers near that ocean. Very fresh. Sudusukuladi. They were also selling almonds. However, I will overeat that. I'll finish the whole thing. So I decided uh, today I'll just eat cashews and eat them moderately. For the rest of the night, I'm gonna save files, write business emails, same as usual, and then knock out. The other day we went to the Blue Lagoon and there the colors are so surreal. Over here, uh, there are good seating places. There's a lot of seating options. Blue Lagoon had very milky water, but here you could see clearly. Oh, this is a nice place to lean against. Everything sounds a little bit muted. Is it okay if your face is in the... Don't okay. Don't worry, I'll censor your face. Well, you can keep your face. How about you? Should I censor your face? Oh, I'm going to keep it. Just made it to Foxy. This is on the Golden Circle route. We have to go back to the uh, geothermal bath backwards but then now we're went forwards and now we're here so some interesting things about driving in iceland they have a lot of roundabouts in usa our stoplights it goes from green yellow red and then green but here uh before it goes green it turns yellow so people start creeping up starts you know like getting ready to go you know the joy of driving in iceland it's not about rushing and getting from one place to the next you know, because of this weather condition, sometimes it even snows. You have to just enjoy the ride and just enjoy the landscape because there's so much beautiful landscape. Just look at that. Look at the fog and look at so cozy looking at it and being inside here. And see, there's like houses in the distance as well, but it's like like 80% opacity. The closer you get, you know, the opacity level drops, but it's like Photoshop, but 3D, like real life Photoshopping. And you're not doing anything. You just 